All right, guys, welcome back. It's been forever. Um, I am still alive. I just have a lot of stuff going on that is not Mini Maid related. Um, but tonight, I just happened to decide to kind of take it a little bit easier. I've been kind of burnt out. Um, I actually spent last week hiking uh, in Bluff Country in Minnesota, which is pretty strenuous, but uh, it was a great time uh, hiking up and down uh, bluffs for three days and uh, checking out some state parks and stuff. And uh, the other thing I have going on is uh, I uh, am a lawn guy. I'm like one of those old man uh, lawn kind of guys, you know, so that it's finally got nice in Minnesota. Uh, so I've been busting away at that. Um, not even close to done with it. So this kind of return uh, video is not, uh, I'm not even saying I'm back. I'm just saying that uh, I'm taking the time finally to shoot a couple uh, pictures, uh, this being one of them with Magneto. So, um, yeah, anyways, enough about uh, non-toy-related stuff. Basically, I took this, uh, this is from that, uh, they're like a knockoff G.I. Joe, uh, what are they, God, what are they called, uh, click and play. Uh, I got this awesome fort and uh, just decided to do something with it with Magneto. Uh, and probably uh, when I put it on, Instagram, I'll probably have a, a text of, um, you know, the rumors of my demise have been greatly over-exaggerated. I think it's a Mark Twain quote. quote. Uh, funny enough, I was actually thinking about it when I was sitting here uh, just using that quote. Kind of fits with Magneto breaking out of a high security area. And then the other funny thing is I've been reading uh, Huck Finn uh, for the first time uh, over my camping trip. Uh, just kind of chipping away at it. I got like two chapters left, so probably like uh, 10 pages left. Uh, I may finish it tonight or tomorrow. But yeah, just, uh, you know, it's him breaking out and uh, with the vault guards in the background getting taken down uh, using that color wheel, uh, you know, red and purple. The opposite opposing color is green. Just always makes uh, those colors pop that much more uh, when you do pictures. So uh, I also did use, of course, the laser pointer um on this um you know magneto uh, effect uh, and works pretty good so yep um i think that's it for this picture let's go on to another one all right so our next shot uh we're kind of doing an ode to uh dakin wolverine versus uh frank castle uh this is during the dark rain period i actually ended up googling uh uh, you know, greatest comebacks or something like that. And, and, uh, you know, just coming up with a list and I don't even remember what website had the list, but this is on it. Uh, this is actually a really epic battle, but, uh, Frank's return from this is one of the dumbest things in comics ever. It's Frank and Castle. He, he ends up coming back as like a Frankenstein character. Uh, I have the issues. It's really stupid. Um, not a fan. Uh, but, uh, the, the lead up to it in Dark Rain where Wolverine takes on Punisher and ends up cutting him to pieces was really good. Uh, a lot of, a lot of fun for a good old, uh, violent Wolverine, quasi Wolverine versus, um, Punisher, uh, shot, uh, uh comic book, uh, run, but, um, but yeah, anyways, uh, just came up. I thought it'd be a cool idea. You know, at least the battle was cool. Not so much. Uh, what followed but this was so uh that'll do it for this uh this is just a your standard uh out in the the woods um you know set up it, it, it turned out really good actually very well layered um but yeah i really like this one so uh let's go do one more shot all right so our last shot is going to be of mass uh spider-man getting taken down by four out of the the six sinister six I probably should have thrown, like, uh, Mysterio in there, and I think Sandman's the other one. But, yeah, just uh, didn't really fit all that much, uh, and I kind of like how it turned out. Um, so, yeah, we just got uh, Spider-Man being held up by Do Dr. Octopus, trying to make sure his head is, is fitting between Spider-Man's arm and his uh, tentacle, just so we can get a good look at him. It kind of took a little while to figure out uh, the angle is going to take him at. Uh, take the picture at, uh, and then there just ended up being a bunch of dead space on the left hand side because I'm doing this at an angle. Uh, and I kind of slipped in Punisher and Daredevil way up top on, on top of the buildings if they're just catching them and they're ready to swoop in and save him. Uh, just filling in the rest of this with with random buildings, uh, just to try to give it more of a, a city feel. Um, 
yeah, I may have to retake this actually. I think there's there's just too much dead space in this thing for me. Uh, it's not claustrophobic to be uh, not claustrophobic enough to be New York uh, for me. So yeah, I may have to do may have to fiddle with it a little bit before I call it good. But uh, still turned out to be a good fun shot. Uh, I'm very happy with it. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I am back uh as of this video i don't know uh I, I don't know how i can't i can't even commit to anything else uh i plan on doing a bunch of masters of the universe reviews never got around to them and i just like i said uh, i'm really into the outdoors it was a long winter in minnesota and um i'm also a yard guy and again it was a long winter in minnesota so i'm making up for all that dead time all that missed time so, uh, but otherwise guys hit the like and subscribe button, uh, check out the description of the video, uh, for my links to Instagram and Facebook page, check out some other videos, uh, and we'll see you guys at the next video. Bye now.